We we'll give God the glory that after 10 years, we have been able to recover one of the assets that belonged to the River State Government, which was purchased for the people and for the interest of rivers people by the government led under Dr. Peter Odele. I can't believe it that today we have gotten by this legacy jet 600. Um, when we went to uh, Germany, when we got the information that this plane was parked there since 2012, of course we did everything we could do. And we told Nigerians, by the grace of God, we would not allow this access to go that way. We must return it for the people of the state to decide what they are going to do with it. But what is more important to all of us to know that when we came into power 2015, nobody got handed over any report or handover note to let us know where assets of the state are. And for us to hear in 2008, 2019, that look, this asset is somewhere. Are you going to sell it? I was there, which asset is that? The legacy 600. I said, no, it's not possible. We have to send people to go and investigate. And they found out that that the asset is there. And we made all attempt to see that. Yes, let us see what is the condition. We spent a lot of money. A lot of money. When I mean a lot of money, I mean a lot of money. I mean, how would you not let the state know that they have their one of their properties somewhere? So the state will decide what to do with it. And so, if we had known on time in 2015, obviously the kind of money we spent, we wouldn't have spent that, uh, that amount of uh, money. But all in all, to the glory of God, the plane is back. And if us people can see, Nigerians can see. It's not that we are playing politics. All we are saying, look, we never knew. Nobody told us until God intelligence that we have this asset somewhere. So I thank everybody and I thank the media for communicating to Nigerians to know that, look, it is true. We all went there and saw it. And we promised them that this plane will come back by mind. But of course, you know, aversion is not like ordinary or the hard or the transportation. It's a technical area. This and that, they must be sure that the plane must fly. They must be sure that they've gotten the airworthiness certificate issued by the Nigerian uh, government. And what they have done. So I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so elated that at the end of the day, all our struggles are not in vain. So I thank Rivers people for the support. I thank the State Assembly for the support. I thank the executive for the support. Okay. Well, well, the last plane is back, sir. Yes. So your thoughts, sir? Uh, I think it's a touch of a good leadership. Uh, that's what we have seen today, a touch of good leadership. Not talking too much, but uh, delivering on your speech. Um, for us, this is lost, but found by this governor. One more credit for good performance. We are grateful to the governor, we are grateful to the people of River State for patience. And also to tell those who had planned to get this plane out of our reach, that enough is enough. Thank you very much. Uh, when you have lost an item and you find it, 
there's always that uh, sense of joy and uh, satisfaction. Uh, the rivers people are happy today. At least one of our assets has been brought back to the state. And it is a thing of joy to all the stakeholders and citizens of River State. Thank you. Thank you. Joy for the state that an asset that was missing and taken out by the previous government has been returned back to the state. It shows accountability in governance and it shows care for public assets. And the moral is that uh, power is ephemeral. When you empower, use it wisely. Use it in the interest of the masses. Govern for their benefit, not for your own self-benefit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the, the aircraft is here, that's what's important. We thank God and uh, we pray that it will serve rivers to well. Congratulations to rivers to well. Thank you. Thank God that we have a governor like uh, in some weekend. In some weekend, it's not only providing infrastructural projects that are people oriented, but also protecting and retrieving what belongs to the state. And this is an example of what has happened. We thank God that he has done it. Today, the plane has arrived and everybody can see that it was a plane that will have been lost completely. But we thank God that it's here today. The aircraft is a state asset, and the definition of a state asset is an asset that will benefit the state and its people. So if the governor, given commitment on his own part, is able to use the instrumentality of his office and that of the people of the state, the will of the people of the state through the mandate given to him, is quite commendable. For me, as a state asset, it will be part of what will be used in the governance of the state. For whatever reason, the state will also determine how to put the aircraft to use. And in all, all in all, it translates into adding value to what is already owned and what is already done for the people of the state and the state. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Very, very happy and welcome developments. This is another indication of a indisputable fact that this governor has really determined to protect the interests of river states to the best of his ability. This was a plane very few of us know about. And suddenly the governor discovered that one of the aircraft belonging to the state was somewhere in some foreign country allegedly being maintained. And he went and insisted that the contract must be completed. The aircraft should be refurbished and, uh, you know, refitted and uh, brought back to River State for the benefit of the government and people of River State. So I commend the governor for another remarkable achievement, and it is indeed a happy day for all of us, citizens of River States. Thank you, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Just, uh, despite the, all us, uh, uh, River State is very happy that um, our governor is able to retrieve our uh, property wherever it is in the world. Um, they will not be here you know, in the next uh, one year or two or so. But um, he's uh, trying as much as possible to make sure that uh, all the property of uh, the university is recovered. Um, and that um, it will also help in the internal administration of the part of the, um, of the government uh, he's leaving behind. And uh, because of the kind of person he is, uh, a man of candor, a man who loves River State, um, a man who uh, does everything to make sure that he protected uh, River State during his uh, tenure, uh, that's the uh, first uh, approaching defense. Um, we're happy that uh, he's done this. Uh, he's not left this uh, property of uh, River State um, uh, to, to, to get lost uh, and has recovered it and brought it back to, to us. So um, we are very happy about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.